week, we're adding on to our Life is Why Challenge. In addition to more fruits and vegetables, now we're limiting our sugar drinks that we love this so much. This is in addition to? I thought it was just a new challenge. Apparently, we no. we got to keep the it? fruits and veggies going and give up sugary oh, drinks. I see where this is going. It's going to a live shop. Jenna James where it's going. <laughs> Jenna, what's new this week? Yeah, good morning, Dave and Cerise. We were thinking about fruit juices. Those can sometimes seem like they're really good for you, but they might have a lot of sugar because the labels can be a little misleading. For instance, you're going to see that those grams of sugar are pretty high, but a lot of that is because of the natural sugars in the juice. So instead, you want to look at the list of ingredients and make sure that there isn't any artificial sweetener. Some juices will actually tell you it's 100% juice with no added sweeteners, but you have to watch out that it can be misleading. For instance, this one says 100%, but that's for the vitamin count that it has in it. It's actually considered, let's see, what does it say here? A cranberry apple juice drink. And the second thing listed on here is sugar. Then if you look at another brand, V8, that you know we kind of think about as being healthy, well, this one actually only contains 5% juice, and the second thing listed on there is high fructose corn syrup. Fruit juices are okay in moderation. They're a little more concentrated. We like kids to focus on eating the whole fruits as opposed to juices, but if they're 100% fruit juice, in moderation, that would be okay. So you don't have to cut cold turkey. That might be a little unrealistic considering sugar and more than likely the caffeine you're having and some of those soda drinks are addictive and it's gonna make it hard to quit. So instead, if you're drinking about five sugary drinks a day, just try to cut back by one or two a day and then make note of how you feel. How's it going? Write that down so that you keep a track and then after that you can start to cut back by maybe two or three a day and then hopefully you can factor it out all together. All right, that's good, that's good news yeah. there because I used to have three a day then I'm back to one, mm -hmm. and now I'm on to diet, Jenna. Does diet make a difference here? The American Heart Association, on their infographics that they have, says that diet is a little bit better than regular soda or go. other kinds of drinks, but again, you're going to want to do those in moderation. Moderation is the key, right, Jenna? Moderation, Dave. So three <laughs> down to one, that's a lot better. All right. All right. Thanks so much, Jenna.